Hey guys, and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're going to be solving lead code problem 199, binary tree right side view. Let's read the prompt. Given the root of a binary tree, imagine yourself standing on the right side of it. Return the values of the nodes you can see ordered from top to bottom. So we can see that if we have this tree here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, we expect to get 1, 3, and 4 back. So this unfortunately is the case of the leak code problem description being absolutely horrible, which they have a very terrible habit of doing this. Um, they should really get someone to proofread these. But um, basically, once you figure out what they actually want, uh, you realize that they basically just want you to return the value that is um, rightmost in every single level. So we can see one, three, four here. And that's really all this problem um, comes down to is simply finding the rightmost element in every single level, as we can see here. Uh, so once we know that, basically, you know, we can just go level by level through the tree. And if we're at the last element, then we simply append it to our result. So, you know, we would iterate, um, you know, we'd use a queue here because we want to use a level order traversal and typically you use a queue with breath first search to do that. So, you know, we'd add one, three and four. So that's how you do it. Let's actually open the editor and I can show you how to implement that. Now that we're in the editor, let's see how we're actually going to solve this problem. So the first thing that we want to do with most of these uh, tree based questions is actually check whether or not the root exists. If it doesn't, then there's nothing to process. So we can simply return our base case here, which is going to be an empty list because the problem asks for the values of the nodes, right? And it expects a list. So if the root is empty, so we're going to say if not root, uh, we can simply return an empty list, right? <clears throat> so like I said in the explanation portion, what we want to do is a level order traversal. And typically the way that we do this is going to be with a breadth first search. And to do a breadth first search, typically we use a queue. So let's define our queue. And we're going to initialize it originally uh, with the value of root. And what we want to do is we want to process the entirety of our tree. So we're going to say while queue, so basically while there's still something to process, what we want to do is actually, oh, and apologies, we're actually going to need a result here to actually store <clears throat> the values of our nodes. When we do a level order traversal, typically, if we want to process only one level, then we need to set um, a, a loop inside of our while loop to basically only process elements on that level. So typically, what we do is we're going to say level length is going to be whatever the length of the queue is when we entered this uh, iteration of the while loop. So we're going to say uh, level length equals length of Q. And we're going to say for I in range uh, level length. And the reason that we want to do this is that we, we only want to iterate over the current level. And the reason that we're actually tracking I here is because when I equals to level length minus one, then what we want to do is actually append whatever that node is into our result because that represents the very last element in our um, level here. So we're going to say node equals q dot pop left. And me personally, I like to only put non null nodes into my queue. So that way I don't really have to check uh, whether or not the node that I just popped is uh, null. And then I'll just do the checks on the children. You can do it the other way around. I just prefer to do it this way. It doesn't really matter. It won't affect your code. Uh, that's just something to um, think about. So we're going to say if i equals to level length uh, minus one. So basically, this is when we're at the very end of our level. We want to add that node's value to our result because that's the rightmost value on that level. Otherwise, um, you know, we don't do anything there because it's not the rightmost. Now, what we need to do is add the left and the right children. So we're going to say if node dot left. So basically, if the current node has a left child, then we want to append it to our queue. So we're going to append node dot left, and we're going to do the same thing for the right. So if node dot right, we're going to say queue dot append node dot right. And that's really it, to be honest. At the end, all we need to do is return our result, and we're done. So let's submit that and make sure that it works. And we see that it does. Cool. So let's think about the time and space complexity of our algorithm. So when you're performing a level order traversal, you need to iterate over every single node in the tree, which means that time complexity wise, since we're touching every single node in the tree, this is going to be an O of n solution, right? We're going to have to touch every single node and you know, it's O of n because we, we literally just 
go over every element. Um, so this is a linear solution. Space complexity wise, um, the maximum amount of elements that we're going to store in our queue uh, could potentially be the very last um, row of our binary tree. If it's completely full, that will be the most elements that we're ever going to have in our tree, which is dependent on the size of our tree. So this is just going to be an O of n solution, um, you know, asymptotically. So that's our time and space complexity. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please check out my other videos if you're preparing for your on-site interview and have a nice day.